everybody, and Hi, welcome Daddy. to our channel. Surprise, you're seeing us on a Saturday. A special Saturday episode of mm -hmm. Sam and Ryan, my guy. We wanted to get this video up and out there because, of course, this news, like, just dropped. We wanted to throw our hat in the race of commentating on it. Hat in the race? Is that not the saying? I think the hat goes in the ring. Oh. Yeah. But our let's see who has the fastest hat. You guys have seen the news. You know why we're here. You yeah. know why you clicked on this video. Yeah. We are here to talk about the official, finally, casting announcement of Wicked the Movie. Now, if you're super late to this train, hey, surprise, Wicked the Musical is being adapted into a movie. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm shocked by all of the comments that I am seeing on like Ariana's posts and stuff of like, wait, what? Wicked the movie? I'm like, yeah, yeah, guys. We've been talking about this for so long. Where are yeah. these people? I, I don't know. Probably just not theater fans. So of course, the actual announcement is Ariana Grande has been cast as Glinda and Cynthia Erivo has been cast as Elphaba. So yeah, we know essentially four things about the Wicked movie. We've been talking about it forever and haven't known anything. Then finally, a director was picked. That's John Chu, who directed Crazy Rich Asians and In the Heights. And now we have Ariana as Glinda, even though everyone was talking about her for Alphaba, mm. and Cynthia Revo for Alphaba, even though no one was talking about her at all. We obviously were posting about that and talking about that. Uh, I have a Twitch channel, if those of you don't know, and the news broke as we were live on my Twitch yeah. channel. So we already kind of talked a little bit over there about this, but the more that we have sort of been publicly talking about this, the more people were like, what are your takes? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? So we're here on a Saturday, mm -hmm. which we never do, to uh, give you some takes on this casting announcement. I mean, I say let's just start off with Miss Galinda. Yeah. I, I think that we should kind of do like a good news, bad news moment, get the bad news out of the way. Sure. So what is the bad news, potentially? What are the fears about this casting announcement? So my immediate thought uh, was, you know, I, I'm a fan, I, I do like her, but I'm concerned it might be really hard to lose her in this role. I don't necessarily want to be watching the Wicked movie going like, oh, that's Ariana Grande. Oh, mm -hmm. that's Ariana Grande. Oh, she's blonde here. You know what I mean? I, I, th I was hoping for an actor that could really disappear into the role. I love Ariana Grande. Um, and we do have some like pros we can get to later, but that's kind of my biggest con is like, yeah. can't. Can we really lose, like, a massive pop star in this role? Well, and you said it yourself. Like, you're a huge fan of her. You're a fan mm -hmm. of her. Yeah. Like, I am a huge fan of Cynthia Revo, but I, I'm a fan of Cynthia Revo because I'm a fan of her work. Yeah. And, like, Cynthia Revo is an actress. Ariana Grande is a brand. Yeah, she, she's like, a pop star. You know, right? so that's... I do believe that that's going to be a tricky translation, and I don't really know how they're, how they're going to pull that off. And I know mm. that they're going to try really hard, and I don't even know... If you try really hard, I, I you're gonna if you're going to be can. able to do it. And it's weird because, like, Leonardo DiCaprio is one of the most famous people ever. But he's famous for being an actor. And, like, you lose him in whatever he does. So, I don't know. It's 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 weird how some people just become a brand instead mm -hmm. of, like, yeah, whatever. I also think this is a con t for me is that, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give her sort of a compliment sandwich. In all of the things that I've seen Ariana Grande act in, I feel like she is very good at kind of playing like the dead-eyed stupid ditzy girl yeah. like actually really good it's at really that good. and like playing stupid is actually very hard to mm -hmm. do well and i think that she does it mm -hmm. um my my quandary is that that does encapsulate who act one glinda is or as you have said that encapsulates galinda mm -hmm. but in act two when we get to glinda and she has a secret and she has tension and she is losing her fiance mm -hmm. and she is coming to grips with the fact that her best friend is righteous but also evil and has also stolen her man's and then has to make up with her as she sacrifices herself mm -hmm. like those are really deep things. And I think that people often think about Wicked as sort of like the Alphaba show. And I think that the reason that that's the case is because Glinda is funny in act one and then you don't care about her in act two. And mm -hmm. that's not how Glinda's supposed to be played. Like, 
what Glinda goes through in Act Two is actually incredibly transformative, and you have to be able to see that. And I don't know, I have never seen Ariana Grande do that. Yeah, and I think it's fair to say, I don't know if I've just never seen her been given the chance to. Yeah. So I'm, I'm hopeful. Sort of like a, a middle thing, this could go either way. Obviously, Ariana Grande is a tremendous vocalist. Mm -hmm. I would argue one of the best vocalists in the world right now. Yeah. When you have Ariana Grande, who sounds like Ariana Grande, who can do what only Ariana Grande can do, that could be an amazing thing or a really detrimental thing. Because again, if I'm watching Wicked and I don't see Glinda, I see Ariana Grande. If I'm listening to Wicked, I don't want to hear Ariana Grande. I want to hear, hear Glinda. Glinda. And on one hand, it could be really cool if the blueprint of Wicked became a little bit more flexible and we could hear Ariana Grande do some unique and stylized and individual things. Mm -hmm. I would love that and I think that would actually aid the storytelling, but if all we hear is Ariana Grande and if she's riffing and yelling all over the <laughs> Wicked the Movie soundtrack, like, I'm going to throw hands. Not the yeah. I have such a hard time imagining the creative team who is so strict and so specific everywhere else in the world is gonna like be like, oh sure, let's just Right, but they've never casted an international pop star yeah. to play this role. They have created inter international superstars, but they mm -hmm. have never cast casted them. one. Yeah. Like I so I don't know. I, don't I really don't know what happens here. That was sort of a pro slash con. We did some cons. What are the pros? The pros are she is going to bring such a youthful energy because like, and it's it's not just like her appearance. It's her her spirit, energy. Her it's it's her spirit. Yes. She she feels young. I feel like I'm going to believe that she's a freshman in college yes. going through all of these things for the first time. Yeah. Like in and, and I feel like she's gonna bring that energy to the role, and I'm really happy about that. Yeah, and some some other pros that we already sort of touched on, like, yes, unequivocally, without a doubt, she's one of the best vocalists on the mm -hmm. planet right now. We love a musical movie casting people who can actually sing. Yes. <laughs> she's also a Broadway performer. Yes. Some people don't know this or forget this about Ariana Grande, but she has been on Broadway, so mm -hmm. she knows what theater is yes. as she sets out to make theater into a movie. Mm -hmm. And she's publicly a huge fan of the franchise. Exactly. And, like, I think because she has been a lifelong fan of Wicked, she is going to bring a certain level of, like, care and consideration and, like, heart to this role. I think she's going to do her best. And I'm really excited to see what that is. Because, obviously, like... She also idolizes Kristen Chenoweth, so I know she's, and has already said something about, like, thanks for, like, like holding my hand through this, or, like, mm. can't wait to hold your hand through this process. I think Kristen said that. I don't remember. So many Instagram captions, you know what I mean? But I, she's also going to have a very close friend who originated the role kind of, like, going by her side throughout all of this, too. But yeah, she, she's such a Broadway fan and, and Wicked fan, fan, specifically yeah. a Wicked fan, that she's she's going to give this her all, and I'm really excited to see what that looks like. Let's move on to Cynthia Erivo. Yes, Miss Cynthia. Cons about Cynthia Erivo taking on the role of Alpha Bathrop. Um, My first impression of this was surprised, Um, not not because of her actual age, but because of her maturity and the kind of like old soul vibes that she gives off from a lot of performances that I've seen of her. Um, so I, I didn't look at Cynthia Erivo and think like, oh yeah, like, freshman of freshman year in college, right. like, you know, they, they, they went young with this movie. I was like, okay, they went with kind of like the traditional Broadway casting of this musical, like, let's cast everyone in their 30s. Yeah. Um, well, and that's that's just a hill that, like, I continue <laughs> to find myself dying on. Yeah. Is, like, I they've never done it on Broadway. They've never done it on the tour. They aren't doing it in this movie. Like, and this is, this is not saying Cynthia's too old. This is not saying Ariana's too old. But what I have really wanted, and we talked about this in our yeah. Dreamcast, what I really wanted is for them to cast people who actually were or who earnestly felt like they were freshmen in college. Because when the story is a young story and you cast old people or older people, you lose the danger. Mm -hmm. Like, and we, like... 
not to make this about me, but we talked mm -hmm. about this in Heathers a lot. Like it was really important to the producers of Heathers to cast us actually young. I was 20 when I was playing yeah. that role. Like that made sense. We were actually young. So you believed like, oh my God, these kids have gotten in real trouble here. Mm -hmm. And when Cynthia Revo goes up against the wizard, I'm going to be like, yeah, she's going to win. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I don't were... believe she's in trouble at all. That's Cynthia Revo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm still excited to see it. Like, because I, I feel like that that truly is the only bad yeah, thing yeah. we have. It's just like she just feels like such a wise person and she just has that presence to her. Mm -hmm. And and Elphaba has the the wisdom of being mm -hmm. otherized her entire life and rising above that. And, uh -huh. and that's like noteworthy, certainly. Yes. But you have to also have that like impulsive... I'm going to go against the entire system. And I've I'm, never actually done this before. Right. Like, you know, I think Cynthia Rivo's Defying Gravity is going to be amazing, but I think I'm yes. also going to be like, you've defied gravity like a billion times. Yeah, it's like, you've done this before. <laughs> yeah. You defied gravity when you won your Grammy, Tony, Tony and Emmy. Emmy <laughs> Um, that, yeah. to that end though, like, so to go into the cons about Cynthia, or excuse me. <laughs> I actually hate that she's an Emmy award winning actress. To go into the pros of Cynthia Rio being cast, like, yes, she is a Grammy award winning vocalist. Yeah. Her voice is unbelievable. Insane. Also one of the best singers on the planet right now. Yep. She is a Emmy winner. She's a Tony winner. She's a Broadway performer, so she understands the culture. She will know how to put theater on the screen. She's just an O away from an EGOT. All she needs is an Oscar. And, like, is this it? Like, no. is this... No, like, I'm not saying that, like, that, like, Wicked is going to win an... O I mean, maybe John Chu's pretty fantastic, so, like, yeah. he, he could put a really cool spin on it, but I think, if anything, like, the soundtrack will win an Oscar. Because you can get Oscars for, like, best oh. song. That's how Lady Gaga got an Oscar. Not for her performance in A Star is Born, but for Shallow. Her performance in A Star is Born's soundtrack. soundtrack. So that maybe Miss Cynthia gets an Oscar for Defying Gravity. Or No Good Deed. Maybe she's going to be an <laughs> EGOT winner after this. I'm not that I'm girl. not that girl. <laughs> I would not. When she hits that low note, they're going to be like Oscar. Oscar. So we, we talked a lot about how Cynthia just sort of has this vibe mm -hmm. of like wisdom and maturity. But we did revisit that clip of her singing Thank Goodness. Ironically. Ironically enough. singing the Glinda song at the PBS Wicked concert. Yeah. And we're just going to pull that up and, and look at that clip really quickly because the way that she sounds is very youthful. Very young. I couldn't be happier. No, I couldn't be happier. Though it is, I admit, the tiniest bit unlike I anticipated. Beautiful. Like, her, Beautiful. Cynthia Erivo has such an amazing tone, but the thing that I forget about her is that, like, she is such a capable vocalist, she can, she can transform that tone. Mm. Like, that's not what she sounded like on The Color Purple. That's not no. what she sounded like when I heard her in concert. Like, the fact that she is such a good vocalist that she can transform her voice mm -hmm. to fit the moment, like, that might do a huge service to taking all of that like wisdom and maturity that she brings and making it younger yeah because it'll sound that way i am so excited for her i'm not that girl mm. based off of that performance mm. yeah like oof. and honestly like this is this is a, maybe a silly thing but this is just something that i love about cynthia revo as a person mm -hmm. And no one is a stranger to this. Like, we have seen so many, you know, little starlets. All I mean, all the, from little starlets all the way up to, like, Jesse J. Yeah. Like, posting on TikTok and on Instagram being like, oh, just just in the rehearsal room singing Defying Gravity. Like, like no big deal. You know, probably going to be my role, but whatever. I'm not going to say that. Yeah. Cynthia Revo didn't do that at all. No. Cynthia Revo did not telegraph that she was up for this. No. She just had the poise and the mm -hmm. grace to just do the work and get the job like and i respect that so much yeah worth mentioning worth mentioning yeah. yes worth mentioning grace. grace so like i would definitely say just to kind of move into like our final thoughts segment here <laughs> i would say like for ariana grande i'm like 50 50 
Like, I feel like she might do a great job. I feel like she might be a bad choice. I'm, like, kind of 50-50 with it. Cynthia Revo, I'm, like, 90-10. For Ariana Grande, I'm, like, 70-30. Like, I'm, I'm very excited to see just what happens, but there's that 30% chance of me that's, like, maybe, like, this wasn't the choice. My biggest thing with Ariana Grande is, like, can I not see Ariana Grande? That's my that, That's my, like, only thing at yeah. this point. And I think that's a coin flip. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Uh, and with Cynthia, I'm, like, I think I'm 100% now. Like, or maybe I'm, like, 95. I'm still interested to see, can I buy that she's a freshman in college? Well, and like, can we buy that Cynthia and Ariana Grande, who are not the same age, are the same age? Yeah. You know? uh, how old is anyone? I don't know. For any inkling of doubt that I do have, mm -hmm. what pushes me very far in the direction of absolutely supporting this casting choice is the fact that John Chu is directing. Yes. John Chu is a fantastic director. If you haven't seen Crazy Rich Asians, or if you haven't seen In the Heights, I highly recommend doing so because the second that I saw he was directing the Wicked movie, I was like, I almost don't even care who the cast yep, is. It's, it's in good hands. Yeah. Crazy Rich Asians is a case study on how like John Chu's tone and style, mm -hmm. but In the Heights showed us that like, as far as I'm concerned, no one else should direct a musical movie except John Chu except as long as John Chu is alive. <laughs> Frankly, John Chu should push Steven Spielberg out of the way and take over West Side Story. It's I'm, done. I know, but like, <laughs> like it, it should only be John Chu. Like it should only be John Chu forever. He is the first person I've seen in so long yeah. step in and say, I understand what theater is and I can put it on the screen. Mm -hmm. Like, so, for any doubt that I have, John Chu puts a huge band-aid over that. A few things to, to tie this up and then we're gonna let y'all go. <laughs> uh, so we've had some interesting press reactions. There are just two honorable mentions that I wanted to uh, uh, bring up. Something that drove me crazy, but also was noteworthy. Us Magazine had an article, the title of which is Wicked, everything to know about the Ariana Grande led film based on the Broadway <laughs> musical. First of all, if anything, this is the Cynthia Revo led film or the Cynthia Revo and Ariana Grande led film, mm -hmm. but really it's the John Chu led film still because John Chu is the one who's going to really be in charge of this. Yeah. But I did find this interesting just because like Glinda is not the lead. I know that the witches bow together and like that's just politics and from- Glinda is a lead a, for sure. Right, but not the lead. If, if you had to pick the lead of Wicked, it's Alphaba. Right. But because of politics, Glinda and Alphaba bow together because Kristen and, and Adina had beef. Okay, whatever. But in 2003, Kristen Chenoweth was a bigger star than Adina Menzel. So Glinda was considered the lead because Kristen was playing it. And I do find it a little interesting mm -hmm. that now we're seeing an echo of that because Ariana Grande is Glinda. Yeah. I just, I found that, I found that stupid, but also interesting. Interesting, for sure. <laughs> And then another headline that I also found fascinating because I kind of agree, especially after just listening to Cynthia saying, Oh. Vanity Fair, Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo will, le will lead Wicked, but what if they switched parts? <laughs> and yeah, like I really thought Ariana Grande was going to be Alphaba. Yeah, that's in our video. We mentioned Ariana Grande, but like in the Elphaba realm of things. Yeah. And like completely taking race out of it, like Cynthia Erivo sounded so good singing Glinda, but also just because I have such a love affair for Brittany Johnson yes. and the way that she's paved the way for like how important a black Glinda is. A black Glinda! We could have had a black Glinda yeah. in the movie. So I just, like Vanity Fair, I found that sort of cheeky. And yeah, I, I, what liked, they I liked to think about that. They're not going to switch, but wouldn't no. that be fun? Okay, final thing and then we're done. Yeah. When is this gonna happen? <laughs> Wicked has been, I looked this up, Wicked was being rumored to be a movie made by Universal mm. in 2012. So with this announcement, it seems like it's on the rails. Well, we've seen this article, Wicked Movie Shoot, delayed until June. It was supposed to happen in Atlanta in March, but now it's relocating to the UK. So <laughs> I just, like, I have this weird feeling, and I've said this before, I think, 
on our channel that like Wicked doesn't need more money and I kind of feel like why make the movie until ticket sales start to drop which they haven't yet I mean maybe now they're reeling from the pandemic because they can't afford their third island or something if you had to make just a completely arbitrary prediction what year is this movie going to come out if it's my, shooting June of 2022 my guess is that they're going to have a really long post because I'm, I'm imagining there's going to be some like pretty intense visual effects. My guess is it's going to be released Christmas Day 2024. I think wow, they're going to do specific. I they're going to do a Christmas release. This is going to be either Thanksgiving or Christmas, but my bet is Christmas. Like Les Mis, like a lot of big blockbusters yeah. are like Christmas Day. Wicked came out on Halloween. So uh -oh. I think a Halloween 2025. Five. Interesting. I think it's gonna take them a long time. Okay. I don't think that it's gonna start shooting June of 2022. June of 2022? No. Well, they haven't cast the rest of it yet. Right. Well. So those are our predictions. We'll have to wait and see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Wanna put a, wanna put a, wanna make it interesting? Ten dollars. Whoever's wrong can't oh. be on this channel anymore. Those are our thoughts. Yeah, um, and we ain't got a lot of them. Yeah, super excited to see all that happens with the Wicked movie. We are such fans of it all. Um, so I know we're both just excited to see it all come yeah. together. Yeah, very exciting stuff. Thank you for joining us on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, and back to our regularly scheduled programming next yeah. week. So we'll see you there. See you In the meantime, why don't you go ahead and like and subscribe yes. on it? And uh, we'll keep bringing you this fierce, sometimes theater-related <laughs> content that you just are so in love with. Yeah. Well, Thank you, you wore green for Wicked. I, didn't I did. I wore I, giraffes and then I because did... free the animals. Oh, I did know? pink. I did pink lip gloss and green. For my, for my single, pink and green? Stream pink and green. Sure, sure. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and if not joy.